Hey everyone and welcome! In this video, I'm showing you how I make these Valentine's Day cupcakes. Starting out with my color palette, I use green, red, pink, and white. So starting with the rose, I'm using a 2D tip and I make a swirl. I pipe from the inside out. And to get that really um, nice height and that classic world swirl, I would say you want to pipe pretty slowly and with a lot of pressure. If you don't have a 2D tip, a 1M tip is perfectly fine. I use a 1M tip here for my pink and my white swirls. I just find that the 2D looks a little more rose-like than the 1M. Moving on to the second design, this is gonna be like a bouquet of flowers. So I'm just piping three small swirls. I'm using, again, the red, white, and pink to make three different kind of rose colors. And now I'm going in with a 67 tip, which is a leaf tip, and I'm just piping on some leaves. For Valentine's Day, a lot of designs and a lot of um, purchases revolve around flowers. And so I decided to kind of replicate that with these six cupcakes here, giving kind of like rose, like single rose and bouquet fields. And so to kind of fill in the space and to make it look more like flowers, I'm adding in these leaves. One thing I found was that my leaves are falling a little bit flat. And so sometimes I would double them up, putting like two in a space, or I would also pipe on top of a leaf, just giving it a little bit more height. Um, again, this really helped the leaves kind of stand out and not just look so flat and so lifeless. Again, this is a tip 67, which does have that like ridge in the middle to make it look like a leaf. You can also use a standard leaf tip. Um, really any tip works for a leaf. And then we have my first six cupcakes. My next cup is going to be a little bit more generic, and so I'm going to cover these four with sprinkles. So you put down a base of frosting, use whatever color frosting you have the most of, I assume. And I have a blend here of sprinkles, and I'm just going to push each frosting covered cupcake into the sprinkles, um, which will adhere the sprinkles to the cupcake. If you use a crusting buttercream, it's important that you um, do this step before the buttercream crust. Since I use a crusting buttercream, I need to do this step pretty quickly or else I will not be able to get sprinkles to adhere to the cupcake. Next, I just popped a little swirl on top and then added a sprinkle heart just to kind of really bring through that Valentine's Day theme. And then just to round it out with my last cupcakes, I did a buttercream swirl and topped them with sprinkles because honestly, they're such a classic. And I feel like these two designs don't clash with my flowers and let my flowers really shine, but it's still really nice and really elegant and still add great pops of color. And there we have my four designs for my Valentine's Day cupcakes. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you like it or you want to see more of my content, you know what to do. And I do post the second and fourth Friday of every month, as well as the last Tuesday. See you then.